fuck with us Well, we post it every Friday every See Friday. them corn emojis and you know a nigga wild I'm a jaded Gemini We're gonna talk about this case So you guys probably see um, the Breonna Taylor uh, petitions And like different links and stuff that I've been putting in my videos um, Ever since this happened And from what I know, there's two dip separate cases going on, right? I think. Yeah, there's there what no now there's one. Yeah, now but there's it one. Involves but there were people. two, right? So, as of now, they have gotten a twelve million dollar, yeah, twelve million dollar, which is absolutely settlement. fucking ridiculous if you think about it, because like it was it was previously said that like departments have a cap. And it's usually about two million dollars. Like, if some shit goes down, they have that much allotted to pay off to a fuck up, basically. So to give someone twelve million dollars, dude, I'd be enamored in the courtroom. Like, seriously, bro. Like, I'm, that's how they know they fucked up. I'm just like, how? I just can't wrap my head around it because you're right. By them giving you the money, it means. Some shit happened, and you it was were not, wrong, yeah. right? Especially that so much. So, wouldn't that mean that the people involved in the wrongdoing should be held accountable? Like, I'm thinking that's what's going on, but you know, they like to be quiet with right. the investigation type of time, where they're right. not just gonna jump into it willy nilly like that, right? Well, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna just show you guys this video of the mom talking to who is that cbs the mom's about to talk to cbs but yeah. i'm not gonna play the whole thing because it's like nine minutes but she's basically gonna be talking about the settlement there's gonna be some lawyers there too and then they're also gonna talk about um what they think should happen next because a lot of people online have been going like back and forth being like okay and they still need to blah 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 you get what i'm saying so absolutely we're about to see what's going on with this some people are gonna look at it like well now y'all can shut the fuck up like for yeah, real for real because that's shut the fuck up money no, that's exactly is. what that is lord take me back to that moment and how you are feeling today uh just you know a lot of decision goes into coming to these agreements and, and you know for me it's thinking about uh, making sure that i'm doing the right thing and, and doing the right thing by brianna so i think it was to feel the love of the citizens of louisville and the supporters of, of brianna taylor tamika palmer they've been there since day one and yeah. um she really needed that support today to to kind of validate um that we're on the right trajectory we're that's a um, good question. Uh, Ayana said, is settlement money tax? Technically, that's taxpayer. So. That's taxpayer money, technically, right? The $12 million? G got one, and I don't believe his shit got taxed. You know how it gets taxed, though? I the lawyers taxpayer get taxed. Money. Yeah, lawyers get a little fee. But, I mean... I mean, shit, Google it, man. Hold on, where's my fucking... I don't know, but I know you're right. Regardless, you do got to pay people. Somebody's so that's paying taxes tax. on that shit. You Damn. better believe it. You aren't going to tell me that, like, my little freaking scrunchy button was all messed up? I mean, dude. I honestly didn't even notice. Men don't even be looking out for you when you be slick. I'm sorry, I wasn't bro. looking at your, your goods <laughs> that oh hard. Oh, my God. I'll be looking at your eyes, yeah, a lot of people kid. are saying it's tax. Yeah. Oh, okay. Eyes, so yeah, if you do oh. owe money to the government, then yeah. Oh yeah, off for the sure. You forgot yeah, about that yeah. shit. You know, and everybody owes them right. like something, bro. They love to wait until you get some bread and be like, "Hey, buddy, remember that one time where, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, nigga, it's a stick up." Them niggas do not fuck off. Lanita, you mentioned that no one this is, is admitting mess. fault in the civil suit. But we did hear the mayor look directly at you, Ms. Palmer, and say, I'm deeply, deeply sorry. Do you accept that apology? I think that, um... She said no one admitted fault. Right. Giving that out $12 money. million dollars is admitting <laughs> fault. I'm so right. sorry. I, I, I've been trying to not interrupt this, but dude... This is out of control. Usually it's backwards. Like, 
there's a criminal suit and then it doesn't work out. And then, and then there's this, but this right. shit technically still never even got addressed. Mm-hmm. And if I know America, they're they're looking into it. Yeah, because they thought they thought they were gonna get off with killing them dudes in Georgia for a minute. Those dudes were chilling for a minute. They were bro. chilling for a minute. And then boom, out of nowhere, videos out. Boom, F GBI is involved. Boom, FBI. Boom, indictment, indictment, indictment. Another, you're right. Um, he doesn't need to apologize. He didn't do it. Yeah, but I mean, shit. Freaking, they need to serve their time. Like, that's an apology. Serve y'all time. Oh, wow, I, don't know about I cannot begin to imagine I don't know if it's this moment pain. At this point. And I'm deeply, deeply sorry for Brianna's death. I hope the more does. this story has went on, he's learned and I saw that this. there were several things done wrong. And so I think today that I felt it much more than when I met with him several months back. The settlement includes a payment to Brianna's estate of $12 million. $12 million plus reform says a lot. One thing that Tamika Palmer and Brianna Taylor's family has always maintained is they don't want Brianna's stuff to be in vain. They and they want this and anything that comes Kentucky. out of her case mm-hmm. to have long term impact. Can you just tell me how you're getting through day to day and what keeps you going? Uh, a lot of the protesters, they're getting up and they're going out there and demanding justice for her name. So how could I not do it? Describe what you believe your daughter is saying right now. She loved this saying to uh, apply pressure because to her, a pressure busts pipes. And so today I felt like pressure was applied. Each one of you all spoke about the next phase of this. You talked about the criminal charges. You mentioned Daniel Cameron's name several times and even demanded that he press second degree charges this week. You know, we're not asking for anything extraordinary. We're asking for equal justice. You just have to speak truth to power. This was a young black woman. Mm-hmm. There are two justice systems in America. and. We want to make sure that we get equal justice for Breonna Taylor. You saw how coded he had to say that? He did, but... that's That sucks so that he had to do that, but it's like, bruh. The problem is, there are still people out there like, oh yeah, well she was with the dope man and was a criminal. And I, I just got to the point where I'm just like, dude... I, I, yeah, people always berate, oh, we don't look at shit, but even on a morality level, bro, fuck, fuck, fuck everything. Mm-hmm. On a morality mm-hmm. level, bro, if somebody gets murdered for no fucking reason, even if she was a criminal, like, somebody's racing out there, you know, these niggas oh, out here, God. man, on their meek no shit. Is that? But for real, though, like, dog. And if the roles were reversed, like when the cop, nigga just walk up on the cop in California, bah, 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 bah. niggas think niggas like, you ain't going, oh yeah, hell yeah. No, nigga, that's fucking bullshit too. But it's like, bro, nigga, it's the same shit. Right. What's the fucking difference, bro? But oh, when niggas get their fucking neck stomped on or niggas just run up in their shit, Call of Duty style, killing niggas, right? It's, oh, they're a criminal. But then a cop gets shot and they like, oh, damn, this this matters, this matters, this matters. But then there's videos of the cops in that same city stealing out of dead people's houses. Right. So, I mean, apples to oranges, but nigga, wrong is wrong. Wrong is wrong, bro. And wrong. shit, this ain't Zimbabwe. It's definitely This wrong. ain't motherfucking... Democratic Republic of Congo, we're not in no fucking civil war. Like, we need to get our shit together, bro, unless we want to be like that. And niggas love crying no, out, oh, the boogaloo, they want to be like that, bro. But it's like, y'all niggas are not built like that, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, my gosh. Fucking Dude, mess. I said, said a good point. She said, you can't even feel after a loss when you're black hair because everything has to be a negotiation or a model minority exercise. That was worded like, damn, like, bruh, fucking facts. I'm sad. happy they got something. Like, what the fuck? I'm happy they got but something. But they don't bring too. her back, and this shit is tragic, bro. So, 
here is my question with this is um in these comments i already know are probably going to be disgusting so i'm not even about to read them uh. but um my question is like do you like just how do you feel about the case like in general now like do you think that they are even going to get arrested like do you think those police officers are going to get arrested only uh, because they already and keep in mind these a lot of the cops involved already have like extensive rap sheets too like going back decades in multiple police departments like are they still really cops think, in that city i think they're on like leave or something uh check us in the chat but i'm pretty sure that they're on leave I don't. Th I don't know, man. I'm not gonna put out bad energy for her family, bro. But it, it shit is fucked up. Shit is fucked up. And when they're out here handing out twelve million dollars, does that seem like they expect anything else to come out of this situation, bro? Because you know, nigga, lawyers are lawyers, bro. Everybody right. can get lawyers, bro. Right. Like, who are them niggas for real? Has anybody really de like deep dive them? For real, for real, bro. Because, I mean, that it seems like a payoff to me. No, I'm not it gonna does. Count. It does. And I'm not going to lie. Like, when I first saw um, that they had gotten the settlement and stuff. Yeah. And then, like, um, I saw what the mom was saying and I saw what the lawyer said and how cryptic it was. Like, yeah, and was when she, shit. yeah, he was saying some really <laughs> cryptic shit, but, like, Basically, the fact that they want to put the money back into the community and they did develop a new law and like all this stuff and like, you know, good things did come out of them getting the money and stuff. But when I saw all the outrage online, my first thought was like, I wonder how the mom feels because I didn't really see her personally say, you know, anything. And I was like trying to look up videos online. So if any of you guys like want to link us or something. Because I've been trying to find, like, her say on it. But she's just been letting her lawyer speak because, again, it is now an open case. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But For sure. I don't know if, you know, if they were to lose the case, if it would really, you know, you get what I'm saying? Because so much good is being done in, with Brianna Taylor, like, with her family, like, what they're doing with her name, with the law, and, like, everything, like... So much good is already being done. Yeah. So I don't know. I think that even if the worst case scenario, they don't get locked up, like, I don't think it's going to be like a complete horrible ending. Like, oh, absolutely I feel not. like they're going to carry on her legacy and like. They trying to get whatever they can out of the situation right now. And judging by that type of payout, bro, it's definitely doing something. Because, like I said, you don't give out that type of money exactly. unless you're trying to shut somebody up or you know you fucked up and boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we'll see, bro. Time will tell. But I feel like... Time will tell. I feel but... like it's part of something bigger if the powers to be are watching this shit unfold. Mm -hmm. Because all the signs of corruption are there, bro. Yeah. All of them. There were so many messes. Every ups, single so one. So many fuck ups. Because I, I watched a whole nother video where those same niggas that shot her did some other bullshit where they did a raid. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. The cops involved in her shit have a they, long they rap sheet. They never said they were the bullshit. police. And right. They just fucking... Multiple neighbors are like, they never address themselves. Like, crazy part about it is, I peep, bro. They fucking. Busted the door open. They never made entry though. There was a staircase. They got prone and motherfucking mounted on like the the door the door ha the door jam. Fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know we're not in the car here, but follow me. So it's a squad of niggas looking like they're about to make entry, but not, and just telling everybody to get down and come out. And to expediate things, they throw a fucking flashbang in that bitch. Damn. And everybody comes out. Thus, you got everybody out of the house without going in it. Exactly. So if you really wanted to see who's in the house, 
without a warrant. I mean, my thing is they. <laughs> what's crazy is they had just done. Uh, didn't they just do like a raid like the day prior, or some shit? Some. I don't remember. I don't remember. I could have sworn I seen something on Vice. Why is your and name around that like, much Damn. fucked up shit? That's what I'm saying. You have so many. <sighs> Man. My name's not around all that type of fucked That's up shit. That's what I'm saying. You dude. know what I'm saying? I'm Man, not I'm the best to, person I'm, either. I'm definitely going to keep praying for her people, bruh. I always think about them, her family, and stuff like that. It's just, just very fucked up because it's just so. Because out of every case that's ever happened like these some people always have like a little banter of like oh well they shouldn't have done this they shouldn't have done that how could you not like what what was she doing what was she doing Sleeping, she was nigga. sleep in the bed like what like you complaint alleges immigrant women were there Underwent you know, think about the fucking ideology of the Nazi party, bro. They don't want people to reproduce and come here and have their baby here because if they have their baby here, their baby will be a U.S. citizen, bro. And it's just low. He likened the detention center's conditions to an experimental concentration camp. Women there were reported to be confused about the procedure they received. In a statement to our news partner, Catherine.